Hello all, TechGeek311 here. I want to give you a quick um, follow up on my AnyDo app review and tutorial today. I want to show you a feature that I forgot about. I'm sorry about that. And I wanted to show you because it's an important feature that AnyDo has. So you can see here we have the main screen. Shows the two upcoming to do's that I've set up. Has a today, tomorrow and all that. Now, like I told you, that AnyDo syncs with the other app called Cal, so I wanted to show you on here that this can also show you your calendar events as well as your to-dos all together. So if you flip your phone to landscape mode, you'll notice it automatically gives you a calendar on the left, and on the right, if you see the, those uh, little to-dos I have there, they have like a little box on the right corner, that's your calendar events. You can see on the calendar it has little lines. Each one is uh, multiple lines depending on how many calendar events you have. But I'm going to scroll up here to Monday and I want to show you that there's my two to do's that are in any do and there's my calendar events on the bottom. Okay, so if I keep scrolling up, you can see these are all my calendar events here. You can either scroll or you can tap on any one of those days of the week and it'll, it'll automatically bring you to that section whatever it is that you want to look at. Now supposedly this gives you a way of grabbing your to-dos and moving them over. Um, I have tried this many times to try to slide it into an event but never seem to get it to work. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Like you see that one automatically switched over to the 11th. So I'm going to grab it again, highlight over the 12th and let it go. And there it goes back in the 12th. So like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I think the last update they did did make it work more efficient, but it only works with your to-dos. It doesn't work with your calendar events. If you see, I try to grab a calendar event, it won't let me do it. It only lets me grab an any, any do and switch it to the date. So if you don't want to do it the other way on the portrait screen, you can also do it on the calendar screen. All right, and then on the bottom, you'll notice that you can sort them by your folders. You can go by time, which gives you the month. You can sort on the right side your actual folders. You can also go by the time. And you've noticed I have both by time. So this is by time, the calendar is by time, which you can switch months just by tapping that little arrow on by next to the year. And I have folders. If I want to go back to my original date, just scroll back here, tap on it, and it brings me back. Alright, so that was a quick tutorial. I just wanted to cover the last feature that I didn't cover in my last video. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe below. And uh, leave me any comments if you have any questions. Alright, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.